Hey, what's up guys? So it's Tujin here. Um, welcome back to MBT Studios and I have a story for you guys and you know what's been going on with me. Well, I'm in charge of DIY projects and the first pair of headphones before we even dive into this project in particular, um, just a little bit of history. The first pair of serious headphones I've ever had were the HD 650s and I bought them used. And I love those headphones a lot. In fact, um, I used them for about two years before I really had that upgrade bug in particular. And the only reason why I sold those headphones is not only to try you know, higher end equipment, but I didn't find them to be the most comfortable. Even after being worn in for two years, they had issues. I mean, I ended up tearing them apart. The paint started chipping on the actual headband and I had to spray paint everything. So I was thinking, you know, how can I make the HD 600s or 650s better? Now, what you have right here are stock HD 600s with their unique finish. And the basically the 600 series is just known to be very easy to replace parts. You know, headbands can be buy, set, bought separately. The actual trim, hinges, the grill, the driver itself, and then not to mention pads. There's lots of aftermarket solutions. Um, even with headbands, if you didn't want to go with a stock headband, you could actually 3D print a headband where this guy named Cybersub um, put one on uh, youimagine.com. And using this file, I created a version of the headband I think improves the comfort significantly. So these are my modded HD 600s. Now, not all of it's reversible, but I mean, look at that. So yeah, I basically pimped out the HD 600s and this is how. Essentially what I did was I got this file over here from the, uh, the website uh, that Cyberset made and I printed it out using a wood PLA filament. Now, the PLA filament I used was Hatchbox uh, Wood PLA, and I basically essentially 3D printed it, but before I did, I made some adjustments. So, looking at the software here, the stock headband, according to the um, STL file I downloaded, is about 160 millimeters wide. What I did was that I actually made it wider, and the reason for that is to actually reduce the pressure that these ear cups exert on your head um, at your temple and that was one of the main things with the HD 600s it got a bit unbearable after about two hours or so and if it's a brand new pair like you know from like an HD 6XX from Mastrop I mean you're gonna have to deal with it for quite a bit or constantly keep on you know, stretching your band until it goes away well I didn't want to do that uh, with a new pair so here it is I made it so the custom headband that I made or you know uh, custom version of it is 185 millimeters wide and I think that's a sweet spot because when you actually compare these headphones um, without being on the head there's basically no space in between the pads now with this custom headband I have about a three finger gap and then when I actually put it on my head it only has to stretch so much where the you know the pressure is on but it's not as much as stretching this to the same position. You get more resistance. So, um, after printing it out in a wood PLA, I decided to sand it and finish it with a stain. Now, um, what stain I used was basically a company called Miniwax, found at like Home Depot, Rona, 
And this is a Bombay mahogany gloss finish, which is basically a stain and gloss finish, two in one. And I applied about a few layers actually to get this headband and I wanted to see how dark I can go so I actually made quite a few more and I went for a darker coat. Now of course these aren't perfect, I have a learning curve, um, it's just like a prototype almost and these newer ones were kind of done in a rush so there are some, you know, fine adjustments, you know, fixes I need to do or like paint type correction but yeah and then you can still use the stock padding with the new headband, but it looks a bit awkward since the headband is slightly bigger. So Dakoni, I actually hit up Dakoni and Dakoni sent me out Dakoni Nuggets, which honestly compress really well and it's just adding on to the comfort. So you don't actually have to bring these um, ear cups down a lot. Um, to you know adjust for this new bat padding because it actually compresses on your head and you know takes off quite of the weight from the actual ear cups um, so it's like a nice 50 50 split and then obviously for aesthetic reasons and comfort um, I wanted to finish it off with the, the, the Kony fence straighted uh, sheepskin pads and overall I think I liked the end product um, obviously there's times to uh, just stuff to improve on um, the end goal of this project was to actually recreate the entire headband uh, itself that includes the hinge the, uh, and the actual um, outer trim over here. I actually got started on the outer trim, but um, the way this headphone works is that there's little tiny um, standoffs that actually click into place or go onto an actual post, which is kind of hard to... Uh, create but with a little trial and error I'll eventually get there. The hinge is a bit weird because there's actual metal piece but definitely I'll be able to figure something out but yeah essentially um, the way it is is that once all those files are there you could honestly print to any kind of headband you want and finish it however you like. Um, with my old pair of HD650s that I got the headband started chipping paint wise so I actually spray painted the entire um, headband itself to make it look different and fix that paint chipping problem. Um, with STL files ready to be available, it just makes, you know, demodding this headphone so much easier and getting replacement parts cheaper. And I figured with so many people, you know, having this headphone, especially with Mass Drop, once they released the HD6XX, it's honestly a no-brainer. And I was kind of disappointed. Um, I thought there'd be a lot more mods. Uh, for this headphone but yeah that's essentially what's going on um, if you guys have any questions just leave a comment down below and I'll also post the custom STL file that I used for this headphone um, if you'd like to print one of your own and try it out so yeah guys I'll see you in the next one peace